As for the two main conservative nominees, Hong Junpyo promoted his devotion to national security, while Yu Seung-min specifically pledged support for the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. Back in the capital, Shim Sang-jung of the Justice Party made her pitch to workers at a car factory. Shin Se-min tells us more. South Korean presidential candidates were back on the trail on Monday with fresh pledges and packed schedules. Hong Junpyo of the conservative Liberty Korea Party started off the second week of campaigning in Gangwon-do and Gyeonggi-do provinces. The candidate vowed to boost the Wonju medical industry Techno Valley in order to prepare the region for the fast approaching fourth industrial revolution. The prosecutor turned presidential hopeful also underscored his all-time promise of enhancing national security, adding that Gangwon-do province, a region that borders with North Korea, should not shake with anxiety. Also touching base of the country's east coast, Patent Party's Yu Seung-min canvassed support for the coming Winter Olympic Games. Pyeongchang Winter Games will be the first global sporting event that the new president will overlook, and Patent Party's Yu Seung-min vowed to make all-out efforts to make Pyeongchang shine and to have Korea shine again. While visiting, Yu took a stroll around the area, promised his full support for the Winter Games, adding that he will work with the parliament to build the funds necessary to host a successful Winter Olympics. I will spare no effort in achieving a successful Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games. I will set up a direct committee team under the presidential office and will send my full support. Meanwhile, Progressive Justice Party's Shim Sang-jung greeted workers returning to their former jobs at the Sangyong Motors factory in Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi-do province. It was rather special day for the 61 workers who had been laid off eight years ago. Promising a country that guarantees a safe and secured working environment, the presidential hopeful says she will make 35 working hours a week a reality for all Koreans. All three presidential candidates sweeping through different parts of the country on the first day of the official second week into the campaign will be back in the capital on Tuesday as they are scheduled to meet with the other contenders for a fourth official TV debate. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.